welcome to Wacky Wednesday. I'm Kat Genesis Dav. Hello. Um, today we're going to be doing a game called True or False and we're going to be doing a little craft as well. So first of all we're going to make the craft because we need the craft for the game. So we're going to make this as you hopefully will have seen on the video yesterday where we showed you what you need. So we're going to make a true and false Placard. Placard? Placard, word for the day. <laughs> yes, which is one of these. Yes. That's, that, that, we, <laughs> we, 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 we can't do any much more with words. This is a placard, a, a placard, sign. A sign, yes. Uh, so I've already made mine because I'm super organised. Right. I am not. So Dad's going to make his now to show you what to do. Right, first of all, we need some cardboard. So this is just an old Amazon box. But you can use anything, you can use a cereal box or some paper, some cards, whatever you can find, you can use this. So you need a rectangle about this size and you need to fold it in half. So fold it like that in half. So you've got two sides that are blank. So if you're using a cereal box, um, hold on, here's one. Ooh. Here's one we're going to recycle later. Yes. So if you're using a cereal box, fold it inwards so that the um, printed side is on the inside and you've got the clear plain sides to draw and colour on. So, where's your my, my tray? tray? Yeah, a tray. You can use a table because that's probably More better. Sensible, but but we'll sit on the sofa. We don't have a table that's big enough. Sofas are comfy and so are trays. Um, Stab's going to just decorate his beautiful cardboard. Absolutely. With some pencils. So he's going to write true on one side and false on the other. Uh, we're just going to fast forward, I think, while. Once so you have very creatively um, written your words and decorated however you please, you know, some lovely swirly lines there. So, you know. You can, you know, pause the video, spend a bit of time if you're particularly creative. So the next step, you need your straws or lollipop, say, lollipop sticks. sticks, twigs, anything to use as little handles. So we're going to, you get some sellotape. You want it about the same length as the side of the, what's it called? Oh, card. Cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just going to... Oh, I was going to say good catch, good catch and I didn't I catch it. Premature in my yes. And then you're going to open up your card. <laughs> Why am I struggling with that? I'm struggling with the card. <laughs> yes. Is this a recurring problem? Um, and you're going to stick your straw. Well, the way I did it was to stick it onto the stick the cellar tape onto the straw first, so that that makes it a little bit easier. So just flat onto the straw. I don't know if you can see that. It's sort of Hopefully. down the middle so that it'll yeah. stick onto the card either side. And then what might be easier if you do this on a table is to put the cellar tape flat on the table and then put the straw on top. You've got a bit more control. So set the doing. cellar tape flat on the table, sticky side up. Yes, yeah, sorry, I should have done yeah. specified that right. If you just hold that up for me now, please, Dad. Yeah, and we're going to stick the straw to the inside of the card. Don't go too close to the edge because it will make it a bit tricky to stick the sides together afterwards. So, so we're going to the other side. Right, so now we've got our two straws stuck inside. So what are we going to do next up? Uh, Can you remember? Oh, yeah. Just, just give it a squish. That's all right. <clears throat> and then sellotape the sides together so that it stays Shut like that, nice and tight. So the same length again of cellar tape. I'm gonna stick it again. This is pretty easier. It's pretty easier with two people actually. Uh, yes, yes. With two pairs of hands. So you're gonna stick half of it on one side. So halfway along the cellar tape on one side, and then fold it over. Make it so it's, the easiest way to do it is to get someone to squeeze it tight, like Dad's doing, and then the other person to fold over the cellar tape. It's a little bit fiddly. Um, little hands might need a bit of um, help, mums and dads, or 
grandmas, granddads, aunts, uncles. Again, do the same on the other side. Oop. Squeeze it shut. Down, please. I'm not doing very well. <laughs> Don't get down to help you. No, I'm. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> So there is the finished product. <laughs> now Dad has done a slightly neater one. Slightly. Already. So we're going to use this one I think, aren't you? Yes. So next we are going to play a little game. So you can get your cards and play along with us at home. If you've made them already, you can play along and decide whether you think the statements we are reading out are true or false. True. True or, or false. false. Or true. true. Or, or false. false. Or okay. two. <laughs> right. So, shall I go first? Yes, you go first. So, my first statement is the tallest man in the Bible was nine and a half feet tall. Nine and a half feet tall? That's like me and then half of me again on top of me. <laughs> so, I was tall. Um, no, I'm going to say that's true. And I'm going to use the card <laughs> to say that that's true, because we made, we made these cards for a reason. We did make these cards for a reason, and you are ding, ding, ding. I am correct. Ding, ding, I'm correct. It is true. Um, do you know bonus point? It's not actually a bonus point because otherwise you'll win. No. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll find you a bonus point somewhere. Um, who was this nine who and a half? Who was this nine and a half foot giant man? No. no. I don't know who it was. Well, if you, I mean, nine, nine foot. Giant. You literally just gave it away. Giant. Goliath. Goliath. Nine foot. Goliath. Because I have my first statement for you. <clears throat> True or false, the Bible is the best selling book of all time, in all of history ever. Of so all time, wow. I'm going to say that's probably true. That is, de that is absolutely true. Next. Statement of your years yes. never grow. Years never grow. Years never grow. Your years, if anyone's confused. Yes. Years. Years, yeah, who calls them years? Um, years never grow. I would have had very big years as a baby if my years didn't <laughs> hadn't grown to be to be from this size. Living this size from I'm gonna say that's false. You are correct. I am In fact, yes. your years never stop growing. Uh Let's try this one. The capital of Singapore is Singapore. True or false? The capital of Singapore, Singapore is Singapore. Singapore. Yes. Well, well, I all know. Uh, is it? That is the statement, but is it true statement? True. It is actually true. Right, next one. Proceed with statement number three. This one's a bit mad. Okay. Mad, a, mad statements are like these. There is a talking donkey. In the Bible. In the Bible? In the Bible. There was a donkey that talks. Okay, well there was a dancing donkey in Nanny McPhee. <laughs> um, and a talking donkey in Shrek, but this is the Bible, so this, this is a bit different. Yes. I'm sure there was. I think it's true. You think it's true? I think it's true, yes. Don't, what do don't, you think? Don't try and, don't try and do what the do trick think, things. Do you think it's true? <clears throat> was there a talking donkey in the Bible? Yes, there was. Yes, there was. I know my Bible. <laughs> okay. Uh, you mentioned Goliath earlier. We mentioned yeah. David. Um, so the, the the guy David, who killed Goliath and then became king and stuff, has the ability to play the harp. Is that true mm. or false? Was David a beautiful musician? I think that's true. It is indeed true. David, David used to play the harp for the king. The king at the time when he defeated Goliath was Saul. Yes. He was a harpist. Very cool. It's three all. It's three all. Question number four from me. Yes. Um, in with it. A crocodile. A crocodile. Snap, snap, snap. Yeah, I know what a crocodile is. Crocodile. Can't stick its tongue out. Have you ever seen a crocodile's tongue? I've not seen a crocodile. Forget its tongue. <laughs> I mean, like, on TV. <laughs> oh, um, no, I haven't actually. But then you could just be trying to throw. Um, oh, oh, see. It's, what do you think? It, it's it's a bit out there, but I'm going to say it's true. You are 
correct? I is am true? correct. I feel well, apparently, correctness. can't stick this in, but... Who knew? Okay, we have a question, a statement, I should say, about space. Uh-oh. And, That's uh, all I can say. I don't know what capturing space was. Apparently, not so good. But people that <laughs> like space, you'd probably be screaming at the screen Woo! if she doesn't know this. Yeah, that's true. So, true or false, Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. Ooh. I feel like I should probably know this. Based on the fact that you, you do planets and stuff in primary school. <laughs> but... <laughs> That was a while ago. <laughs> Not exactly how planet. long, but it was a while ago. It, it was it was less than thirty years, it was, <laughs> but it was more than it five. Was, it was ten years ago. I was still in primary school. Yeah, yeah, about ten years. Um, however, I'm gonna say it's false because I feel like Saturn's hot. I'm afraid you are misguided. It is true. Yes, it is. So. My next one. There are 64 books in the Bible. 64. I think that is false because I'm pretty sure there's 66 books in the Bible. It is false and you are correct. Oh yes, I know my Bible. There are 66 books in the Bible. Can you name them all? Just joking. That's good. I, I, I pos I'll give it a go, but for time's sake, let's not. So, so the statement is, Mary was present at her son's crucifixion. Is that true or is it not true? I think that is true. It is in fact, no, I'm joking, it's true. She was there. She is mentioned in the story. Okay. Right. I'm on to my last statement. Right. It's a rather wacky one. The average person farts 14 times a day. I'm going to go with false. It is true. It's true. It's true. The average person farts 14 times a day. We're all learning today. Yes, we I, are. Um, so. Yeah, I, I don't know where to go from there, to be honest. I've just, I've just, yeah. been, I've just been defeated by fart facts. Um, right, and I've only got one more, haven't I? Yep. And I don't think you're going to get this one wrong. Okay. So this is my final statement. Is it true or is it false? According to official scientific evidence and experimentation, my dirty socks are the worst smelling thing known to man. True. 100% that's true. That is, that is rude and false and I therefore win. Oh. And I am taking a <laughs> massive victory for that. That is just... Well, it was worth it because his socks are pretty dirty and stinky socks. and I can smell them from a mile off, pal. That is rude and that, that, is, that is also <laughs> false. That is definitely false. Thanks for joining us on Wacky Wednesday. Um, we hope to see you again next week. But stay tuned. Yes. And we'll see you Sunday. Yes, I, 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 will, I will be no, good Sunday, be but gone. Captain Naomi will be. Yeah. Yes. See you Sunday. Bye! Bye.